hi, it's Lena. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm doing something I have wanted to do for a long time. I've seen a lot of this on YouTube and I love watching it, so it's about time I do it. In this video I will be reading viral TikTok books. My plan is to do it for a week. I think I'm gonna do like five days or something. Might be more, might be less. I don't really know. I started yesterday. But I couldn't film that much because I was going to my mom's job with her and she has a shared office so I couldn't really talk to you guys. But I think I filmed a little clip of me starting Better Than The Movies by Lynn Painter. I've seen this a lot both on YouTube, TikTok and Instagram and I feel like most people love this. I think Lynn Painter is a very loved author and I've heard so much about this book. This book is basically about Bliss, who has a crush on a guy named Michael. Her neighbor Wes and her have been like arguing in a little fight over a parking spot. But then he turns out to be friends with Michael, so she gets his help to try to get Michael to notice her and like her. And then, I think you can understand what happens. There's a little... It's cute. I love Wes. I'm on page 222 and I love it so far. I would have finished it yesterday but then we left my mom's job and we went to a little food truck festival and then it was late and I was extremely tired. So I'm gonna continue reading this right now. I won't be filming that much on the early part of the day because I'm going to my cousin's house to babysit. But when I get home I will film more and read more. I think I'm gonna try to finish this before I leave though. I have some other books I wanna read in this video. I'm not completely sure. Like I'm thinking about doing the cheat sheet because Sarah Adams is very popular especially right now with like Practice Makes Perfect. I think that recently came out and I kind of want to read The Cruel Prince or Caraval. I did originally plan to read Akatar in this video but I kind of also want to do like a separate vlog reading the whole Akatar series. So I'm not completely sure yet. But this is the first one. I'm going to finish it and then I'll get back to you. So I'm home from babysitting. It was a lot of fun. The youngest one was very cuddly today, which I love. So it was fun. Um, I'm going to talk more about Better Than The Movies and the next book I'm going to read a little bit later. Right now I just wanted to show the packages I got. So first of all, I got a new phone case. But that's not the point. I got books. I've ordered... I don't remember how many. But they're like split up so I don't get them together, which is very annoying. So, okay, the first one I'm going to show you is Collided by Laura Nasher. This is book two in the Dirty Air series. I bought the whole series, but I, this was the first one that got here. It's very heavy. The pages are very pretty. I don't know why, but I just... It's cute. <laughs> I fell. The one I'm the most excited for is Demon in the Wood by Lee Bardugo. This is a Shadow and Bone graphic novel. I haven't looked inside it yet. But it has a little thing here. I mean, I read the piece of A Demon in the Wood that's on the end of Ruin and Rising, but this is like the whole story in a graphic novel. Well, it's very cute actually. The Darkling's origin story comes alive in this exquisitely illustrated prequel to Shadow and Bone, the hit Netflix series. 
What does it look like without this? That's so pretty. Like, do I keep it without this? Because, I mean, this looks good, but this is beautiful. I'm very excited to read this. Oh, I love it so much. And I'm going to put it on my Lee Bardugo shelf. Okay, it's time to talk about... Okay, I hate this. It's time to talk about Better Than The Movies. I love this book. This is one of the most like hyped up romances I've seen anywhere online. And I love it so much. This deserves everything that's been said about this. I gave this one five stars. I, I, I don't think that surprises anyone because everyone loves it. Everything about it, the writing. I love, I'm gonna show you something. Every chapter, this is in chapter one, so it's not a spoiler, has a little movie quote in the beginning and it just fits the character so well. And it's also a little like explanation for the chapter, I feel like, which is very great. Did I tell you what the book is about? I think I did. I love Liz. She's a little oblivious sometimes. Like, you're blind. You're not seeing what's right in front of you. And it's a little annoying. But Wes. I love Wes. And, like, ah, I wish I had a friend like Wes. I really do. And Michael. I have nothing against Michael. I just don't feel like he's the right guy to obsess over. When you have Wes right in front of you. This book I definitely recommend. And it deserves all of the hype. On to... The next book. Okay, it's the next day. As you saw, I started reading Icebreaker last night. I'm currently on page 50, chapter 6. So this book, this part, I don't know much about it, but it's about Anastasia, Anastasia. I don't know, Anastasia, I'm gonna say that because I like that better. Who is a figure skater and Nathan, who is a hockey player. They're in college or university, don't really know. And at their little college, there's two rinks. One for the figure skaters and one for the hockey team. But then the hockey team's rink gets like broken or something. So they have to share. And Anastasia is not very happy about it. Honestly, I don't like the book this far but it might change you know it's still pretty early on but i don't like anastasia she's so annoying she's just me for no reason like it's not his fault you can't blame him i like nate though so that's all i have to say i don't like this but i did buy the first book in the mindfuck series on the kindle app well i bought it on amazon and then it's on the kindle app so i'm gonna read that instead because i don't like this so i'll update you later <laughs> I'm about 20% through Icebreaker. I started reading it on my phone, as you saw in the last clip. I bought the book on Apple Books because when I'm not that into a book, it's just easier to read on my phone. And I've gotten further because of that. So I do recommend reading on your phone or on a Kindle if you have that. I don't really want one, but I'm not gonna spend the money on that right now. I also, I haven't read any more of the Mindfuck series, as you know I read that on Kindle, because I figured out you can have the Kindle app on your phone, which is interesting, and the book was very cheap, but anyways, um, Icebreaker, still not the biggest fan, now that like the relationship is building, there's some tension in there, it's more interesting, but it's still not my favorite book, like it's basically only the spice that keeps me interested in this book and 
if you watched my knock them out series reading book i mentioned how i need more than that i feel no attachment to any of the characters i do love nate he's a good guy and he's sweet and i like him don't like anastasia she's annoying so i don't know how i'm gonna feel about this book obviously going to finish it probably today i'll update you a little bit later i might be going to the beach with my friend like we talked about it three hours ago and she's she was just gonna pick something up and then she, we should would go and then i asked her if we're going and i'm not getting an answer so i don't know might just sit home and read all day so i'm currently 67 percent through at the risk is that its name the first book in the mind fix series and i don't remember if i talked about this book or not but it's like i there's no way this isn't a criminal minds fan fiction everything about it is just criminal minds and now the way i i can't say anything without spoiling it but this is like this same exact thing that happens in criminal minds like is that character not based on garcia because if you're saying she's not then you're lying and it's so annoying the way it's written it's just really bad and it's just a copy of Criminal Minds. I don't like it. I'm going to finish it now because I just don't want to worry about it anymore. But I had very high expectations to this series because everyone said it's good and they say like it reminds them of Criminal Minds but this is just straight up a Criminal Minds copy. And it's bad. It's not even a good copy. Like you could do the same thing but at least make it good. But everything about this is so bad. Now, I'm just gonna finish the book and then... I'll give you my rating. Don't expect much. So I finished The Risk. I gave it two stars. There are parts of the book that are interesting. Like seeing the moments between Lana and Logan. They're good. But I just... I can't get past the very obvious similarity to Criminal Minds. Like I knew that there would be like the criminal minds vibe to it because everyone says it's like if you like criminal minds you're gonna like this but it's too much of the same it's like it is like it's a fan fiction of criminal minds and not just a story inspired by criminal minds or similar and i can't do that i wasn't going to continue this series but then the plot twist no that's not a plot twist well, it, kind of. The... What's it called? The cliffhanger at the end there. Now I have to. I'm not gonna read it yet, but I know that at some point I'm gonna have to figure out what happens. But two stars. I think. Yeah. I don't even know. Not my favorite book. And I don't understand why so many people recommend it or why they love it so much. Because, like, I've seen people say that that their favorite book well favorite series I don't know. maybe just the first book is bad maybe the rest of the series is really good I'm gonna give it a shot I just don't love it but I think that's no wait never mind now I just need to finish icebreaker let's go hi it's a lot later it's like a month later I've been on vacation so I didn't get to edit this video sooner and I also didn't get to continue it because I couldn't bring too many books and I didn't have time to read because I was doing things constantly but anyways I've gotten a little further into Icebreaker I like it a little bit more I think that if I read it at a different time I would have liked it more because I am in a bit of a book slump and I have been throughout this whole video so that's might that might be a reason to why I didn't like it I like it a little bit more like I love Nathan still don't like Anastasia or especially not Aaron but I think that there's a chance that I will like it so I'm going to continue reading it but I'm just gonna end this video here because I was filming it so long ago and I just want to get it out of the way so that I can film other content that I can actually be proud of with books I like and I have so much fun planned I have some film that I'm so excited to get up 
but I just need to get this out of my laptop so that I can have enough storage to actually edit the videos that I'm the most excited for. So we'll see how I end up liking Icebreaker in my wrap up. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. I know this video was short and probably not that good. Better content is coming, I promise. I'm very excited to continue this little YouTube journey. Taking a little break because I was on vacation. But now I'm back and I'm going to film a lot. So much fun planned. And I'm going to be working on it right now. So please like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you next time. Peace out lovers.